I am really excited to tell you about this next project I'm doing. It's one that's really near and dear to my heart. It's one I originally did about 11 years ago. So guys, this is what we're making. It's a children's teeter-totter. Easy to build, anybody can do it. And you know what? It could be themed any way you want. My daughter liked ponies and my boys liked football. Now, this five foot piece was six feet long and we are gonna use that one foot piece. It is actually right here. It's now 11 and 7 eighths because of the width of the saw cut and that's just fine. Peter Potter platform and drive the line. Okay, I have my circle jig here. All right, there it is. Uh, two perfectly rounded corners on the end. And look how beautifully smooth they are. Why are you so dirty? Uh, I was just sanding off the edge of these. Look how beautiful it came out when we laminated it together. There you go, one board out of two. Now we're gonna make it back into two again. <laughs> The wood that we laminated together, obviously you couldn't put them straight on here and make two. There's not enough. So we're going to have to put them at an angle like that. That way we can come at an angle like this and we can get two of the supports out of this one piece of wood. You're supposed to put your phone on silent, babe. My bad. Sorry. As you can see, I've pre-made some examples of uh, just themed teeter-totter handle hooks. particular thing I'm going to do on my shop smith with this teeter-totter 
drilling this pilot hole is one of the reasons I love my shop smith. It turns into a sideways drill press essentially and I can drill sideways into a piece of stock. This is what you should end up with. We've done all the hard work and this is the fun part. Let's put this thing together. mount our teeter-totter handles. The reason I didn't pre-drill the teeter-totter plank is because depending on what teeter-totter handle head you use, it's going to affect where the drill holes go. What does daddy have for you?